Hey guys, Andy HG here, and I'm doing a little bit of a different kind of thing. Right now, I am recording this with my phone, so the editing or the filming is not going to be too great. And I'm currently on my break at work, so I'm going to talk as much as I can within that time frame. I wanted to give an update of what's going on with the channel because it's been about a year since I made one. The last time I made one I talked about how I was starting a new job and I didn't give too many details about it just because I want to keep my private life private which goes into something else I want to talk about. but. I want to say that I am in my second year of teaching and it's been going fantastic. The, uh, the students, the kids that we get and the, the staff is just wonderful. So I can't, I can't be more grateful for a job than that one. Um, like before, like when I started the channel, I was working a retail customer service job and it was just so thankless that I just went home defeated quite often. But now, there are some days I do feel tired when I get home, but I don't feel defeated. I feel more accomplished since I've been working in this job. So, that's one, that's one of the reasons I've that this channel has kind of taken a back seat just because I've been occupied with that because not only am I now teaching kinder, I'm working with kindergarten, I'm also teaching music as well, just so I don't have my logo out there. Um, so th it's a bit scary, but it's going well so far and the kids really seem to enjoy the music. It's really really nice and really refreshing to just have something comfortable as a job for once in my life. However, um, say at the time of this video, the most recent Remember This episode is probably going to be Sonic Adventure 2, which I meant to have out during summer, but better late than never, I guess. Um, so, again, as I say, I usually try to keep my private life and YouTube life separately, just for privacy's sake, but um, one of the biggest reasons I've heavily neglected my channel around the holidays last year was my, my mom went to go see my aunt and she wasn't feeling too good. My mom has a lot of health-related problems going on for her in general, but when she went down, she definitely wasn't feeling like herself. And when she came back from my aunt's, her eyes were yellow, her... just... she wasn't eating. It's like we noticed there was something really wrong going on with her. And we went to a couple of doctor's appointments after then. And about a couple weeks later, we got some very unfortunate news that my mom was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. And my mom is one of the strongest, not just like one of the strongest women, but she is one of the strongest people I've ever had in my life. She, she raised me as a single parent and she continues to look out for me. And to see her as frail as she is right now. It, 
it's it's it's, it's really heartbreaking. Um, like, like it, it, when when you hear about it from other people around me, and especially when I was in customer service, hearing about people with cancer with their family members or them themselves it's it's hard to hear but when it hits close to home like this it's it's a whole different level of pain so for the year we've been we've been going to we've been doing chemo section uh chemo sessions and For a while, it seemed like she was doing really good. If the first one she took, it wasn't getting better, but at the same time, it wasn't getting worse. So it was kind of like a miss, a really mixed blessing right there. And then we switched to a new one, and while well, her hair fell out, and so it did, it did work with her. Her numbers were going down, which is what we wanted to happen. But about a month ago, we, when we went to one of the sessions, we realized it's not working anymore. It's like when you take, like for me, I take allergy medicine to get through the day just because I have horrendous summer, spring, and fall allergies, which has been horrible. And it, it was kind of, and sometimes I had to rotate between the different allergy medicines just because it just doesn't work anymore. It's like my body gets used to it and the effects don't go off like they should be. And the same thing was happening with the current chemotherapy she was doing. So, right now we're going back to another treatment. But unfortunately, she's gotten much weaker these last couple of weeks. And we've and we had to talk about possibly what's going to go on next year in case I don't have her. They, admittedly, I've been living with her for quite a while, even after college and so. Um, it's just the... Just the idea of not having her by next year is scary and depressing. So right now, I'm exhausted and stressed. But I have people helping me out and helping my mom out. I have people from my church, I have, have, you know, friends that I've known for so many years and I have, have you know, family members helping us out. As I said before, I don't usually like to talk about my personal life on this channel. Just because I, there, there's just some things that the people I talk to outside of here know, and with good reason, but 
as uh, Ross recently said on his update, I think it's good to let the people who watch you know what's going on when something is affecting your upload rate. And no, I didn't want to make this as a giant woe is me, poor me kind of thing. But I wanted you to... But as those who do watch me, and I do appreciate every single one of you, both those I've talked to and both those I haven't spoken to yet, I wanted to thank you for watching me. And I felt like you do deserve an explanation of what's been going on. Um, and I and I am sorry. I am I am sorry for not being able to post a lot, but I wanted I wanted to keep you up to date and hope hope all of you do understand what's been going on. Um, I don't know when the next video will be up, but I want to make it a good one for you guys because you've been waiting a while and I want to, as much as I can, I want to make a schedule on when to post and what will go up. Um, but I'll talk more about that in a different video. So, it's now time for me to go back, go back into work. But, um, thank you for listening to me. And I, I apologize I haven't been able to keep up on my end as a YouTuber. But I, or just not letting you know about this when it happened because I cancer is a weird thing and you don't know how it's going to end up some people just have good remission stories and some people struggle a lot and I wanted to let you all know just in case I completely disappear for a bit what's going on so thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon. Take care.